What's going on people, my name is Drew and I watch too many movies. But we're not here to talk about one singular movie today. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the D23 Expo convention showcase thing that Disney has going on right now. I know that it's like the whole weekend going on. Today is Saturday and they announced a lot of things last night. You know, I thought about individually covering every single thing but then i was like nah that's gonna be way too many videos so i have a list of everything that was announced last night and everything that went down so i'm gonna basically just be scrolling up that list you guys are gonna be scrolling up there with me and if i if i do come across something that has a trailer out then i'll go ahead and jot down that there's a trailer for that and then i'll just go do a reaction video for that I don't usually do reaction videos. Uh, I know there's probably not that many of you, but if there is one or two of you that have been around since this was a music reaction channel, that was the last time I did any kind of reaction content. I've never reacted to a video before. So like, yeah, this will be a new thing for me. If you guys, if any of you are YouTubers or you used to be a YouTuber or you know YouTubers and you know a really easy way to kind of set up a reaction video, then let me know in the comments. I'm going to kind of be winging it here, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, before we get into it, I did recently upload my top 80 favorite movies of all time, and I'm currently going through those, re-watching all those movies and rearranging the list, etc., etc. So definitely check that out. I'll put the links here and I'll put the links down there in the description as well. Also, I have a Twitch. I've never used it before. I'm on Xbox, and if you guys ever want to watch me play games, just let me know in the comment section. But I might need y'all help figuring out how to do it. I've never twitched before so i i don't know i'm gonna need y'all assistance but if y'all want to watch that i'll put my twitch in the description as well also i have a letterbox i don't do reviews on there but if you guys would like to see me do like written reviews on there i definitely wouldn't mind i kind of do write my reviews out in short form before i actually record them so i wouldn't mind experimenting with that so yeah my letterbox is down below as well but all right all of that bullshit out of the way oh All right, let's start this off. So first of all, they say there's a new Moana trailer out. When it comes to Moana 2, I'm pretty excited. I wasn't like overjoyed about the trailer and I definitely wasn't happy about that live action remake announcement. I was a little pissed off actually. I was a little pissed off because Moana ain't even that old. For one, they're kind of getting on my nerves with this live action remake bullshit for two. And for three, I was mad because we hadn't even had a sequel announcement yet. All we had was the original film and then the live action joint. So they kind of surprise announced the sequel this year. I'm happy to see the original actor coming back that plays Moana. I already knew The Rock was coming back and I'm just not really a, whoa, what the fuck? I got them damn sticky things that be sticking to your clothes. Shit scared the hell out of me. All right, here we have Avatar. The new Avatar movie coming out will be called Fire and Ash. I guess that's a good title. I kind of like this logo though. I'm not going to front. I'm not going to front. I do like this logo. It looks pretty cool. I hope they end up changing the color of the font because I think the blue is heavily clashing with the red background. But I'm not a like humongous Avatar fan. I do really appreciate the movies and I do like them, but I don't go back to them. I don't know. And I know there's a whole conversation about, oh, the Avatar movies don't have any staying power. They don't stick around in the culture. Is that really true? Because the new one came out and it made like a kabillion dollars. So clearly somebody likes these movies. All right, Dream Productions is a new Disney Plus series inspired by Inside Out. Just announced it, blah, 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 blah. A uh, brand new Disney Plus series focused on the movie studio where Riley's dreams are made. Okay. I reviewed Inside Out too. Shameless plug. Go to that link. I'll put it in the description as well. But um, I don't know. Sure. Whatever. Pixar's first all new original series, Win or Lose, coming to Disney Plus. I actually do remember them mentioning this like last year or the year before. It was one of them. But yeah, I do remember hearing about this. I don't know what this is, but apparently there's like a sneak peek for it. So I will watch that later. Is this like a trailer or is this just like a. Pickles. Okay, that's not really a trailer. So yeah, I'll just watch that on my own later. But um. I guess. All right, here's here's the one that got everybody talking. So Toy Story 5, definitely on the way. Uh, sneak peek at the newest challenge for Buzz, Woody, and Jesse. I guess 
all of them are coming back. When it comes to Toy Story, you know, the first one came out in 95, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was 95. Second one definitely came out in 99, so that's a four year gap. And then the third one came out in 2010. That's 11 years, bro, count them, 11 years until we got that third movie. And then we waited another nine to get, uh, to get Toy Story 4. And I feel like at the end of Toy Story 3, we was like, oh man, they, they wrapped up the story great. The message about the movie was, you know, not everything lasts forever. At some point, everything comes to an end. At some point, we all have to move on into the next stage of our lives. And Toy Story 4, I remember when they announced it, people was like, mm, it feels cash grabby. But then we saw the movie and it was actually like, well, no, nah. like in the third movie, we wrapped up Andy's story. In the fourth movie, we wrap up Woody's story. And we wrap up Buzz, Jesse, and them as well. We have them go their separate ways. And I'm like, okay, cool. I thought we was done right? But here we are. And I think all of us know the reason why they're doing this. They're doing this because for one, Lightyear did not do very well at all. It flopped really bad. Also, just in general, 2023 was a horrible year for Disney. It was an abysmal year when you look at all of their products. They had a couple of them that were big hits, but for the most part, they really did not do well in 2023. And this just kind of feels like, hey guys, you still love us, right? And it just feels like a lot of sequels and a lot of live action remakes, which I'm not against in concept. It's just Disney's kind of, you know, playing the obvious hands here. But listen, I doubted them before. I doubted Toy Story 4 would be good. It turned out to be one of my favorite movies of all time. Pixar is taking you out of this world with Elio arriving in theaters summer 2025. Yeah, we already got a trailer for this. And I don't know, it looks all right. Okay, announcing an all new original film. Get ready for the crazy, funny, action packed hoppers coming to theaters in 2026. What we hopping on? Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 guy. I don't know, what's it about? Rabbits or kangaroos or. Uh, uh and of course, Incredibles 3. I mean, we kind of all knew this was happening. I heard people complaining. I went on Twitter not X. And I saw people bitching and moaning like, oh, they learned the wrong lesson from Inside Out 2. And I'm just like, well, first of all, I'm sure they already have plans to do another Incredibles. But other than that, I don't get the disdain for Incredibles 2. I I, I really don't. It's, a, it's another one of my favorite movies of all time. You'll see that on my top 80. I don't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't either. I, I thought Incredibles 2 was a beautiful movie. I thought it was a risky movie. I thought it was a very well told story. Yeah, the villain wasn't good. All right, I'll be I'll be honest there. The villain wasn't good, and especially compared to fucking Syndrome. Yeah, she wasn't great. But I don't, I don't I don't see what people be complaining about. I'm excited for another Incredibles. I really am looking forward to revisiting this franchise. I do hope that this is the last one though. I will say, I hope this is the last one and hopefully we can put it to bed and not be talking about Incredibles 5 by the time we get to 2040. Okay, we're heading back to the Animal Kingdom in this D23 first look at Disney's Zootopia 2. Coming to theaters November 2025. Uh, yeah, I love Zootopia. Don't know how I feel about a sequel. I feel like it's been a while and I feel like that energy I had for a sequel has kind of went down, but maybe it'll jump back up with a trailer. I, I do like seeing Quan. And um, I've enjoyed seeing his career, I guess, resurrect because I heard that he took a break from acting. He was a child actor. I think he was in one of them Indiana Jones movies. And, you know, nowadays he's been experiencing a resurgence and everything that I've seen him in, I think he's been great. I thought he was awesome in everything, everywhere, all at once. I thought he was really good in Loki season two. I guess he's going to be a villain, maybe? I mean... I I don't know, it feels kind of weird that they're just announcing this one character. I, I don't know, but we'll see. Moving on to something I really don't care about, uh, Star Wars. Skeleton Crew is streaming with a two episode series premiere only on Disney+. Plus. I don't watch the Star Wars shows, so uh, this doesn't really do much for me. It's not that I'm not a Star Wars fan, it's just that I'm a very casual fan. I don't really plug into the shows, but I will say, my brother said these shows are fire. So maybe one day I'll check them out. Should I check out the Star Wars shows? I mean, if I do, I'll, I'd be happy to review them on here for you guys if that's what you want to see. Yeah, I heard that, you know, they did some, they showed some footage from Captain America Brave New World. I'm super gassed for this movie. I'm gassed. Original series Ironheart coming to Disney Plus. Yeah, I already knew about this. I didn't know Ryan Coogler was involved. I, I don't know why they don't have it on here that he spoke because I saw on Twitter that he came out and spoke and I've been meaning to go back and see what he had to say. But yeah, I'm super 
super gassed for this. I loved Wakanda Forever. I fucking love Wakanda Forever, man. And yeah, I, I really dug Ironheart. I did feel like her suit was a little weird. And I will say as a small criticism for Wakanda Forever, I do feel like that character could have been a little cut down. I don't feel like she had to like come on the journey with us. I felt like that one introduction scene would have been enough, but I didn't dislike her. I really liked her. I know I know everybody was gassed about this. Daredevil Born Again. I heard that they showed some footage or they showed a trailer or something. So we should be getting that trailer soon, but I've never seen the original Daredevil show, nor have I seen the Daredevil movie with Ben Affleck. Maybe that's a good thing because I heard it's not a very good movie, but I have enjoyed Daredevil's few appearances in the MCU since joining. I loved him in No Way Home. I thought he was really cool in Echo and I also really liked him in She-Hulk too. I know I know people don't like She-Hulk, but I, I, I actually enjoyed She-Hulk quite a bit. I know it has its problems, but I'm interested to see a season two. I know they probably won't do one, but I'm interested in it. All right, I'm super excited for this one. Agatha all along. I heard there was a new trailer and I specifically did not watch it because I wanted to watch it with you guys. So we'll be doing that video shortly. But yeah, when it comes to WandaVision, that's my favorite MCU show to date. I feel like they completely knocked it out of the park coming out the gate and they've yet to hit that bar since. Wanda and Vision are two of my favorite characters in the entire MCU. I loved Agatha. I thought she was really funny, really interesting, really cool, really badass. What's her name? I think Katherine Hahn plays the character beautifully. And I did see that first little teaser for the show and that definitely got me intrigued. So we'll see what's going on with that trailer. Oh, that Percy Jackson show is getting another season. Okay. I heard that show was good, actually. I, I I don't know nothing about Percy Jackson. My roommate does. My roommate loves Percy Jackson. So I might ask her if she wants to go ahead and check out that season one. <sighs> okay. Okay, so obviously I already saw this. Uh, as, as wonderful as it would be to be a coincidence that I was wearing this shirt, it's not, okay? I saw this already. I saw it on Twitter. <sighs> okay, so am I mad that this is coming? No, and I'm not mad that this is coming because I already knew they were doing this. I heard about this when they announced it about a year ago. And also, when they actually remade Aladdin, that's kind of when I got over my anger about this coming because even though I didn't know that they were doing this, I knew they were gonna do this. So I'm not mad that this is coming out. I will say what I am mad at is this really ugly ass animation. Uh, yeah, yeah. He looks terrible. Now, I'm sure he won't look like that in the actual movie. They said it's coming in 2025. They have plenty of time to make changes. They have plenty of time to tighten up the effects. I'm just saying right here, my nigga, he looks rough. Like, I, I don't, uh-uh. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. But of course I don't like it. Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorite things of all time. I don't know. It's like, what else is new? A, a Lilo and Stitch fan wasn't happy about seeing, you know, a sneak peek of the new live action Lilo and Stitch movie. Is that, is that a surprise? Is that a shock? Like, I, of course I don't like this. He looks fucking hideous. I just don't like when they go ultra realistic with these designs. Like when they translate 2D characters to 3D, I feel like you have an option. You don't always have to go mega realistic with it. You can go really cartoony and really goofy looking with it. And I think it can work. I don't know why they keep insisting on making the characters look so like they're from our real world, especially when he's a fucking alien. Just make him look like a fucking alien. All right, here goes another trailer. They're doing Snow White. Are you shocked? I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked at all. So we'll check that trailer out later. I don't really care about Snow White like that. Okay, Tron Ares. All right. I've never seen the original Tron, but I have seen Tron Legacy. It's a mess, right? Tron Legacy is a mess, but 
I think Tron Legacy does have some really cool things about it. I think the visuals are fucking amazing. It's probably one of Disney's best looking movies to date. And there are some pretty cool ideas in that movie. I just feel like overall it doesn't really come together. But another Tron, uh, sure. I think Jared Leto is supposed to be playing the main character, right? I, I like Jared Leto. Listen, dog. <laughs> I love the original Lion King like everybody else on the planet. I hated the remake. I'll tell you guys this quick story, right? One of the most baffling experiences I've ever had was when I went to go see the live action Lion King and I sat in that humongous crowd of people and we watched this literal page for page retelling of the Lion King story from beginning to end with less energy, less color, less character, less everything. All they did was take away, but somehow they still added 30 minutes to the runtime. It was boring as shit, and the audience barely responded. Of course, the kids were singing the songs, but the audience barely responded to this movie. There was no laughing, there was no cheering, none, none of that shit, man. And then we get to the end of the movie with this indifferent ass crowd, and as soon as that fucking title card popped up, boom, the Lion King, everybody stands up and starts, Whoa! I'm like the only one sitting in my seat like, what am I, in the fucking Matrix? Y'all just sat here and did not respond to this movie at all and then they just, it ends and everybody just got, we're, you're programmed. We're programmed. Y'all just clapping because you feel like you need to. Y'all y'all just y'all just cheer for this shit because you feel like you have to, right? Like, oh, I recognize it, yay! I don't mean the young people's yum. Look, if y'all love these remakes and y'all love revisiting these things like this, more power to you, okay? I wish I could enjoy them as well. I won't shit on you for liking this stuff. I don't like it. And uh, we'll see if I like this movie. I highly doubt it. And okay, that seems to be about it for D23. I don't see any new updates as far as today is concerned. Yep, that seems to be about it for D23. So yeah, thank you guys for coming by. Like I said, I'm about to watch all these trailers and you know, see what I think about them. So definitely join me for those reactions. And let me know in the comment section what you're the most excited for out of all of these announcements. What are you looking forward to the most? I think for me, I'm the most excited for Captain America Brave New World, of course. Really excited for this Daredevil show. Really excited for Agatha all along. Uh, I'm really gassed for that Ironheart show. Um, Moana 2 kind of has my attention. And as for the rest, oh yeah, uh, Incredibles 3, I'm really excited for. And the things I'm the least excited for, I'm definitely throwing that Lilo and Stitch joint in there. And um, yeah, probably Mufasa. But yeah, like I said, meet me in the comment section, like, subscribe. Let me know if you wanna see me do some Twitch streaming. Let me know if you wanna see me do some letterbox reviews. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now. Fuck capitalism, care about the planet. I'll see you guys next time, all right?